hello guys welcome back to my channel dp design and in this video we are going to show you how to how to make an airfoil with the perfect data so let's get started so first you have to open your chrome and type airfoilstool.com where you can find many types of airfoils and you can search by text you can search by thickness and you can search by camber and code length on all and also there are some types of series of it so you can search by series as well if i want to say nsea nsea 7 series so you can just click on it and also you can sort by the cdcl graphs where you can select the particular particular for reynolds number and all so i will choose the random airfoil so let's say i have to select this airfoil 2414 so i will select the source data file right here i will get the data of it they have different x y coordinates i i will get so what will i do i will this i will copy this data into my excel now go to the excel and you can paste the data on this yes so you can see that uh, this data is in the one column only uh, and i will delete the first column and now select the select the data and i will go to the data then text to columns yes i will keep this next and i will keep this uh, delimiters by space because there is a space between two coordinates so it will directly separate two data the x and y okay i will click it next okay then i will finish it so you can see that there is a b and c so my x and y coordinates so i will select this and okay so i will cut this data into my a and i will cut this data into b and for the z coordinates i will keep it a zero because i want to plot it in a two two dimensional so i will keep it these uh, direction zero and i will i will save it as a text file on my desktop and here you go text tab limited and i will select the airfoil data save okay make sure you can you, you have to close the excel file otherwise it will not work so what will i do now i will select the new part go to the insert curve and curve through xyz point now i will select the browse and i will select the particular for text file for it like i have selected the airfoil data okay here you can see my coordinates are properly plotted over here you can check those data and you can make the change as well i will click ok yes my airfoil is ready now but you can see that there is an opening at the trailing edge and for for that i will sketch this airfoil and i will convert the entity and now i will close this body you can keep the tangent re relation between these curves you can do that and i will extrude it yes so that's how you can model the airfoil by the perfect data so thank you for watching, keep sharing.